Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're in Act 6.3, and this is quest number three. And you can see the team that I decided to go in here with. I brought Heimdall for that cheat death synergy. And you can see the path that I feel is the easiest path to do for your initial clear. So straight right to a uh, vulture. This particular fight here, there are no special nodes. So if you know how to fight vulture, you'll do just fine. Uh, as usual, I'm bringing in ghost. Ghost is a great counter for this path and many other paths, uh, but nothing too special about this fight. The only thing that vulture can sometimes catch you on is he has this miss mechanic and I'm still not quite clear on uh, how it works, but sometimes you will miss your attack, the first attack, and that can throw you off. He can get you really good and he has gotten me in the past. So when I fight him, I try to remember that I can miss for that first one. I really just need to look him up and uh, read his abilities so I'll know a little bit better, but I've just never taken the time to do so. Uh, but as you can see here, we're not doing badly at all. This is how it should be with Ghost. No block damage or anything like that. And here we go with a special two, finish it off, and we're done. Still at 100%. That's how it works when you do what you're supposed to do. I do not, and you'll see later on that, uh, well, I still have a bit of uh, learning to do. All right, so the second fight is She-Hulk. She-Hulk also is quite easy to fight, even though she has gotten a buff, so she is much better than she was before. I mean, people forgot about her. They forgot she was even in the game. That's how horrible she was. But with the rework, people were soloing the 6.2.6 uh, .6 boss with her easily. Uh, so easily that Kabam changed things so that she could no longer chain into a heavy from a special. Which she and many others could do from the beginning. But they saw how easily she was able to completely dominate that fight and make it trivial. So I don't blame them. I know they had to do that. You know, whatever they said to justify it, we, we know why. You know, you can't just let that kind of thing go. It'll ruin things. All right, but her specials are pretty easy to evade, both her one and her two. And nothing special about this fight. No nodes, no anything like that. So once you've gotten done with these two fights, now the fun begins. So here's the path that I decided to take. Go down and we'll look at the nodes. And my performance notwithstanding, I do believe this is the easiest path. So you have Stupefy, you have Unblockable Finale, and then you have a special node for him, uh, which is an Enhanced Special One, which is bad. It actually makes him a very annoying fight here. I didn't really realize how much of a pain that made him. Now, what happened there? Don't ask, I don't know. Um, I was sitting there evading, just trying to get my opening. He was not playing right. And then suddenly I was getting hit. All right, so here we go. Now, what I tried to do is push him to his special two. So we managed to do that there because we don't want to have that special one if we can help it. Um, so here we are. I couldn't get to my special two, but here we are now. Special two, pushed him to his special two. So everything is going okay after that first, I don't know what it was. And so I'm thinking, all right, we should be good here. Now, unblockable finale can be a pain. And see, again, I don't know what was going on I remember swiping and nothing happening. All right, so we got hit with the special one. 
Heimdall kicked in, tried to save us, but it really just delays. When you have something that does a damage over time and uh, you get rezzed by, or you get saved by Heimdall, then you're just gonna die a little bit later when it wears out, uh, wears off. So at this point, I could have come back in with Ghost, but I said, let me just throw some of my other guys in here, see if I can just get him down. You know, and then I'm, I know I'm gonna revive Ghost. But at this point, I was a little tilted. I don't really like it when I'm swiping and nothing happens, especially with Ghost. That really cannot happen with Ghost. And a lot of times, she just goes non-responsive. All right, so here we are. He's completely unblockable and he catches me. That's one of the reasons I hated unblockable finale but with ghost that's really not an issue all right so here we are now i know what's gonna happen all right i tried to get this tried to get him done but no didn't do it and i'm like okay can we get it can we get it not enough time just not enough time uh so at this point i'm thinking you know what it was probably a mistake to bring in Heimdall, because he, for all the wonderful cheat death, it's not really helped me out. You're seeing that, right? So it's like, okay, you didn't die yet. And then I got maybe one or two licks in. So at this point, you have to get your uh, openings. And we were fortunate. We were able to bait out that heavy and get our opening in. So down he goes. So that was rough, but again, I know that I'm going to awaken, I mean, uh, revive Ghost uh, for the rest of the path. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know why every once in a while she just does not dash or, or register my swipes, but it's all good. I don't use a lot of um, health potions because she doesn't really need it if you're doing well and if it's going to act like it had been acting i don't want to waste my health potions i have plenty of revives so i'm not too worried about that no units were spent on any of this um i have a nice extensive stash so we're good all right now kang i remember fighting kang back in the day and he used to wreck me i just was not good at evading uh, any of it and he used to wreck me I remember fighting him in uncollected mode he was the second to last boss and I used I must have used about 20 revives just getting past him it was it was ugly I, I didn't have the skills and I used to watch other people and they were like oh yeah Kang is great we love Kang and I'm like I don't he keeps on wrecking me but I got much better and he became very easy uh, to fight. So you see here how unblockable finale doesn't really matter. He's completely unblockable, but I don't care. See, this is fine, but fighting that Joe fix it, it just would not swipe when I needed it to swipe. And one of the things that you can do uh, is the computer, the AI will fire their special so that they catch you unfazing. So what I would do is I would just take some blocked hits, just hold my block. They won't fire their special most of the time. And if they do, that's when I phase and I can phase the entire special. But with unblockable finale, when it gets down to the end, you can't do that. So a little dicey, but as you saw there, as long as you're fighting someone with specials you can evade, you're good. Now, this fight, I don't fight Ronin very often, so I'm not used to fighting him. Now, what happened there? Don't ask. Now, he has a bleed on me. So, again, Heimdall Synergy is not going to help me. But that was my fault. I'm just not familiar enough with his animations, and one of his specials has a projectile uh, component to it. And so I'm just like, okay, wait, did I, do I need to evade there or what? Not sure. Uh, and like I said, I was already tilted. And when stuff like that happens, 
it just made it worse, all right? So I'm getting a little bit used to his animations here. And you can see I'm, you know, just going in every once in a while. I'm firing off, you know, multi-hit combos just to try to get the AI not to get too used to it. All right, and so here he is again. He's unblockable at this point. All right, and everything is working just fine now. All right, and down he goes. Not a difficult fight as long as you're used to his animations and you don't have any shenanigans going on. But it is what it is. Now we're fighting Cull. Another that is easy to fight. All right, so even though I've been having some trouble on this path, I still believe this path is the easiest for your initial clear unless you have a hard time with unblockable finale um if you do what i would recommend is based on your roster and your skills take a look at the other paths and just see which one seems like it's going to be easier for you given the champions that you have now i don't know if you saw the uh computer or the uh, game lagging a little bit when i have problems with input i'm not surprised to see the lag because that's usually what's going on either the game is lagging or my uh, ipad is lagging something is lagging and when that happens your inputs stutter you know it's not you don't have to clean your screen or anything like that. Uh, I made sure my screen was clean, but uh, if there's lag input, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Nothing else for it. All right, so here we go. We got him down. Uh, not too difficult. And we're on to the next fight. Now, let's see. The next fight is Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Now, he can be a pain. Uh, I At this point, I checked, made sure that I was still recording because I didn't want any more problems uh, with that. Now, fighting him can be challenging because he will evade. Now, some people have a misunderstanding about his evade. He has two evades. He has a standard evade where he can he has a chance to evade any attack then he also has an evade for special attacks while his ai is active so when you attack with a cosmic champion the ai you see the ai online there the ai will go into a reboot while it's down your special attacks will not have that high chance to be evaded. However, he still has his base evasion. So if you fire off an attack with a cosmic or a heavy attack with any champion and his AI is down and you fire off a special and he evades, don't think that it's broken. That's his base evade that kicked in, which is a very low chance, but you want to do that because if his AI is active, chances are he's going to evade your special attack. So we got him down. We were conscious of that fact. Uh, I don't know if you knew that or not, but if you ever had problems with him, that's most likely it. All right, so here we are facing a uh, Human Torch. Now I've fought Human Torch before with Ghost uh, when he first came into the contest, there was a special quest and everything. But what happened there? I don't know. And you see me, I'm just trying to dash back, dash back, trying to phase, phase, phase in time. Heimdall didn't save me again. So when I go back through here to explore, I'm not bringing Heimdall. Because that's a slot that I could have used for someone else and it might have helped me a little bit better because it just didn't look like the Heimdall synergy was very helpful to me. Now, 
if I had Heimdall along with Angela or something like that, maybe. All right, so here we are, we're going again. Now, the AI fought a little bit differently. If you notice here, I'm doing just fine, right? Because the AI was behaving a little differently. So now the fight is going the way that I expect it to. This is the way that I'm used to fighting him. All right, so everything here, we evade his special one, uh, which can be tricky. I had to learn how to evade that special one. It was not easy. Uh, his special two is also uh, fairly straightforward to evade, but can be tricky. And if you get hit with that last part of that special two, you are going to know it. All right, so here we are. We're down to the unblockable finale, but it doesn't matter uh, because we were able to get him down. So, yeah, a little rocky uh, journey here. But we're getting it done. We're using revives that we have. Uh, otherwise, they're just going to expire. Uh, we're not using units, so it's all good. So now we're fighting Goldpool, and Goldpool is easy to fight. I always smile when I see him. I wouldn't mind getting a Goldpool, uh, but his specials, very easy. Uh, one and two, very easy to uh, evade. Now, I don't know about you guys, but his special two slightly lags me. And it's not just his. Venom pool, uh, and of course, uh, Deadpool, anyone that has that special two, that one right there, it slightly lags me. And it's just enough that every time it happens, I get worried that I'm going to get caught by it. And so far, I haven't, and we were able to get him down pretty easily. So, I'm happy about that. Um, I've had a rocky enough journey, so I didn't want to die to a uh, goal pool. So finally, we are on the final boss, and it's Havoc. So I brought Guillotine for this Havoc, and that was a mistake. And I will explain why during the fight, but cornered, that right there is annoying. That right there is why I should have brought someone else. I didn't realize something about Guillotine 2099. Uh, I'm still not used to fighting with her, uh, and I'm still learning her. But I want you to watch this. So normally Guillotine is a perfect counter to him because she has a permanent armor up so you don't have to worry about the plasmas. Look at his power gain. Do you know why he's gaining power like that? It's because of her degen. So she does not crit normally. And when she would crit, she's actually firing off a degen. That, because of cornered, is giving him his power gain. And you'll notice that he has a permanent power gain. Like I said, it was a mistake to bring her in. Just look at this. I'm trying to bait out his special. You think he's going to throw his special? No, he's not going to throw that special too. Now he'll throw his special. He's not going to throw it. And that's it for Guillotine 2099. Okay, yeah, Heimdall kicked in, right? So we got a little bit of a reprieve. She's able to heal up. But he's back to a special three again because of that cornered and her degen. And I was not about to fight this fight slow. That's why after that special three, I just went ahead and just said, let me do as much damage as I can before I went out. Because I don't like long fights and that would have been a very long fight. So I'm going in with Ghost. Now, the trick with Ghost and you're going to see just how well I did this. But because I have the hood synergy, when Ghost is phased, she does not take any damage. So you see the plasma charges. He's got 10, and now I'm getting plasma charges. See, I got four. So what you want to do is... Yeah, see, I messed up there. What you want to do is... When it gets to 10, you want to phase so that the plasma detonation will fire off while you're phased and you won't take any damage. 
but I was too busy looking at the plasma charges. And then after the special three, it just got me all discombobulated. Boy, I haven't used that word in a while, but it just got me off kilter. You know, um, my timing was all off and he was attacking and I was like, okay, let's uh, go in with some other folks and calm down, get a little used to the fight and, you know, do some damage, you know, as much damage as we can. Because while ghosts can do it, you do need to have that hood synergy and get that timing so that when the plasma detonation uh, happens, you're phased, take no damage, and you're good. But it can be tricky. And if you mess it up, well, then you're gone. All right, so here we are, and he is firing off his special. And uh, I have those 10 plasma charges, so I'm just waiting here. I'm looking at it, because I know I'm dead. I was looking at the plasma charges, and I'm just like, okay. It's going to expire any minute now. And finally it did. And I went down. So now I'm like, okay. I'm not going in there with Heimdall. He's there just for the synergy. So I'm definitely not going to do that. And uh, so we're back with Ghost. I'm not going to heal her up. Because if I mess up, all that health is not going to matter. All right. So you can see here, I'm doing one hit, one hit. And that's pretty much what you want to do. All right. I don't have any of the 10. I don't have 10 plasma charges on me yet. But here I got six. So I'm trying to uh, look at it there. Phasing. And then that. And I'm like, really? Really? Is that how it's going to be? Apparently, that's how it's going to be. So I just said, whatever. Let's go again. That's why I didn't use any health potions. Um, but that, that annoyed me to no end. Uh, next time when I come through here for exploration, uh, I'm not going to bring guillotine 2099 because she's not a good counter for him. Uh, more than likely I will bring, or I'll try Colossus maybe, uh, Colossus might be a better option. Uh, we'll try that out. Uh, and of course I'm still going to bring ghost, uh, because she can still do it as long as I don't mess up with her. Okay, so here he is. Now notice what he did. Again, he waited until the phase, all right, was gonna be over. And there I got caught by his special one and then the plasma detonation took me out. I'm just like, wow, okay, let's just keep going. I'm not, at this point, I'm past being upset. I'm just tired. I'm just like, let's just get this done. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to finish it. I'll learn for next time. Just want to get him over and done with. All right, so again, I'm just going in, doing as much damage as I can, fire off that special two, and boom, he's down. At least we don't have to deal with any kind of regen, so I knew we were going to be able to item him down if we couldn't skill him down so that's going to do it guys thank you for watching i hope this helps you guys out in your initial clear uh click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day